Hey everybody, John Michael here, pastor at First United Methodist Church in Corning, Arkansas, located at 600 Pine Street at the corner of Pine and West Third, uh, right across from the Corning Public Library in downtown Corning. We wanna invite you to join us for worship every Sunday at 10.55 a.m. Sunday school's at 10 o'clock and fellowship time at 9.45. It's been a while since I've been able to uh, do a video blog update, so I'm glad to be able to, to uh, start doing that again. And I want to catch you up a, just a little bit on what's been going on here. We've started a new sermon series, which actually began last Sunday. It's called Spiritual Revival, Remember, Reclaim, Revive. And it's going well so far, but we want to invite you to join us for this because it's a big um, moment in the church where we're celebrating spiritual revival and uh, seeking it and praying for it. And last week, we talked about Revelation chapter 2, verses 1 through 5. Uh, this week, we're going to be looking at, uh, at, well, let me back up. Last week, we talked about uh, how we need to remember the love that we had at first, uh, our love for God and our love for neighbor, and that experience that we had when we first came uh, to faith in Christ and we first uh, recognized uh, God as our Savior and our help. Um, and this week, we are talking about preparing. Uh, it's time to prepare uh, to receive spiritual revival through God's grace, through the Holy Spirit. And we're going to be looking at 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 13 through 16 this week. And I just want to share that with you very quickly. Uh, and if you're wondering, I'm reading from the Common English Bible. This is 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 13 through 16. Therefore, once you have your minds ready for action and you are thinking clearly, place your hope completely on the grace that will be brought to you when Jesus Christ is revealed. Don't be conformed to your former desires, those that shaped you when you were ignorant, but as obedient children. You must be holy in every aspect of your lives, just as the one who called you is holy. It is written, you will be holy because I am holy. So this Sunday, it's going to be all about preparing for spiritual revival and how do we go about doing that and what does that mean? Um, because as we talked about last week, we can't force spiritual revival to happen. There's nothing we can do that will make it happen what we can do is prepare our hearts and minds uh, to be open uh, to God's Holy Spirit to allow God to work spiritual revival in our hearts and minds. And there are things we can do uh, to help uh, make that possible, but uh, ultimately it is God who does it. And so we believe that God will do it, and that's what we're uh, praying for and, and looking for expectantly here at Corning First United Methodist Church. So we invite you to join us. This sermon series goes uh, for another, counting this Sunday, another five weeks. It's a six-week sermon series. We also invite you to join us for the Bible study that goes along with it. It's called Revival Faith as Wesley Lived It, uh, written by the Reverend Adam Hamilton. And it is a Bible study that follows faith in the life of John Wesley, the founder of the Methodist movement. Uh, it goes back and, and traces uh, the history of the Methodist movement through the life of John Wesley and talks about spiritual revival uh, in terms of the complete life of faith and, and the way we do it as the people called Methodists. So we invite you to come and join us for that as well. That happens every Wednesday night at 6 p.m., and uh, you can also stay uh, after at 7 o'clock. We have a Wednesday prayer time. Uh, it is not a worship service. It's not a structured thing. You can come in between 7 and 8 any time uh, and stay as long as you like and pray in the sanctuary uh, and receive Holy Communion as well. So anyway, lots going on here at Corning First United Methodist Church. We don't have time to talk about all of it uh, on this blog entry, but uh, there will be others, and we hope to see you. 600 Pine Street, Corning, Arkansas, right across from the Corning Public Library. It's the corner of Pine and West Third. Worship starts at 1055, Sunday school at 10 o'clock, and uh, 
fellowship time at 945. That Bible study is on Wednesday nights at 6. Wednesday night prayer time starts at 7 from 7 to 8. It's a drop-in format, so we hope to see you there for that. And uh, we just look forward to uh, welcoming you into our community of faith. Corning First United Methodist Church, I'm John Michael, pastor. We'll see you soon. Thanks a lot.